Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Belt. My name is Michelle, and here I share strategies, tutorials, tips, ideas, and more for parents and teachers regarding elementary math. Today is day six of our 30-day back-to-school math resource challenge, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a very simple and quick multiplication page for your students who are working on understanding multiplication using arrays and equal groups. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple multiplication worksheet for students who are learning to understand multiplication through equal groups and arrays. We're going to get started by going to start with a new presentation and set up our page. So we're going to change our layout to a blank page and then click on design, choose your color settings. Then go to slide size, page setup, change your width to eight and a half inches and your height to 11 inches. Press OK. I'm going to scale up and we have our blank page to work on now. Let's get started by adding in a text box for our name and our title. Start with name here. Let's change the font. I pretty much use the same font when I'm doing my headings for my names. Let's keep it that size and then we're going to duplicate this text box. I'm going to hit Command D on my keyboard or Control D if you have a PC. I have a Mac. And then I'm going to change where it says name to my title. So I'm going to title this equal groups and arrays. You can put multiplication, you can do whatever works for you. And let's make this bold and increase the size just a little and place that right in the middle. Next, I'm going to duplicate this text box. So I leave a spot for my directions. Then I'll fill those in once I have my problems. So let's get started with our, I'm gonna do one problem of equal groups and then two problems of arrays and then a open problem for students to write or draw on. So I'm gonna duplicate this directions page or directions text box and I'm going to make this my number one. So change that to number one and then bring in the text box. You could also have just um, created a new text box. Let's make this bold and let's change the font. Let's do that one and make it just a little bigger. So there's number one. I'm going to duplicate this for number two, number three, and number four. I don't want too many problems on the page. So for our equal groups, I'm going to start by adding a shape to represent the groups. I'm going to choose this rounded rectangle. And I'm gonna start off making it large and then we're going to shrink it once we're done. So right now it has a filled color or shape fill. So I'm gonna go to no fill and I want the outline to be black. You can also thicken the lines here or you can leave it the way it is. I'm gonna leave it how it is now. And then I'm just gonna choose a shape to put in this rectangle, rounded rectangle. So I'm gonna to go to shape and I'm just gonna choose any shape. I'm gonna choose this circle. And when I hold down the shift key on my keyboard, it locks in the proportions of the dimensions of that circle. So let's bring it in. I'm gonna let go and then I'm gonna go and change the color. Let's change it to a purple and then not have an outline. And I'm going to select it, place it in the rounded rectangle, and then duplicate it. I want to have six of them total. My expression is going to be three groups of six, or three times six. And 
and let's bring in this rounded rectangle just a little and I'm going to select the entire shape it also selected the number one I'm just going to hold down my command key and unselect that number one and I'm going to group these items together once they're grouped together I can shrink it so it takes up less space so there's my number there's the first group so now I want three groups of that six and let's shrink them just a little more move them over So now I'm going to I'm going to take this directions text box with the directions in it and duplicate it again and I'm going to create a like sentence or you can build an equation there if your students are ready for equations I'm going to leave it as blank groups of blank so let's bring in this text box I want them to tell me how many groups they see and the amount in each group. So let's lower, decrease the size. And that number one is done. So the second one I'm going to do is an array. So for the, my array, because I'm gonna use rows and columns, I'm going to start by inserting a table and for my second problem, I'm going to do an array of four rows of six in each row. So I'm going to just show four rows here and then six columns. So there's the table. I'm going to change the table to a no style table. And then I'm going to change the layout. I'm going to select the entire table and then increase it. For now, it's going to start out large and then I'll decrease it once I have my shapes inside. So for this array, I want to use, you can use any shape or picture. I'm just going to use stars. I'm going to place a star here. Try to get it in the middle. And I'm going to make sure it doesn't have an outline. You can change the color or leave it. So I'm going to duplicate that. And then duplicate it again I want to make sure they're all lined up so I'm going to take the last star and make sure it's lined up with the first star and then I'm going to select them all and go up to arrange align make sure they're aligned to the middle and then make sure they're aligned and distributed horizontally so now that they're still all selected, still I'm gonna hit duplicate and place those on the next row. I must have shrunk these last two stars. So let's just duplicate these stars and move those over. Okay, so now I'm gonna select both rows at the same time and then hit duplicate again. Command D on my keyboard and then fill those into the table. You can leave the table or you can get rid of the table because now I have them in straight rows and columns. So then I'm gonna select all of them and hit the right key on my mouse and then group them. Once they are grouped, I can shrink it. And place them where I want them. So now I have my array and I'm going to duplicate this text box. And instead of putting groups of, I'm going to put rows of. And I'm gonna move this up, move these all up. Okay, so for number three, I am going to insert another table. We're gonna do another array. 
So go to insert. So this array is going to represent seven rows of five. So I'm gonna go down to seven and then count out five columns. There's the table. I'm going to change it to a no style table and then click on layout. Make sure the entire table is selected. Increase to one. Let's move it over here. So I'm going to go and choose my shape now to place inside of the table. Let's do triangles. Here's my triangle. Again, if I hold down the shift key, it makes all of the um, dimensions proportional and it locks them in. So let's center that. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And then like we did with the stars, I'm just gonna duplicate the triangles, make sure they're all lined up. And then just to be sure, I'm gonna select them all and then go to arrange, align, align middle, and then arrange, align, and distribute horizontally. While they're selected, I'm gonna duplicate and bring that down. Let's duplicate again, and then I'm going to select them all and hit duplicate. Bring that down and then hit duplicate on that last row. And that looks good, so I'm going to get rid of the table. So I selected the table and then hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to select all of the shapes, right click, hit group, and they group together. Then I'm gonna shrink it and bring it over to my page. Let's bring this number four down just slightly. So we're gonna repeat our rows of, you can always, if your kids are ready for it, um, put the multiplication symbol in there instead. So instead of putting rows of, you can just put your X to represent multiplication. Make that a little bit larger. And then for the last problem, I would want students to kind of show me their thinking. So I'm going to have them draw a model. And if there's not enough space for them, they can always draw it on the back. So I'm gonna write my directions for number four. So those are my directions. I want them to draw a model to represent the following expression. And then last, I need to add in my directions here for what I want students to do on numbers one through three. And there's our worksheet for multiplication. You can definitely add a border if you want to. So we're gonna go to shape. You can leave it how it is or you can add a border. So I'm going to, I chose the rectangle and I'm going to cover the entire page. Go to shape fill. Go to white background, go to black outline. I want my weight to be three and I'm gonna change the sketch of the line to make it curved. And then I'm just gonna bring it in slightly, hold that shift key down to keep those proportions and center it. And then I'm gonna right click on it and go to send to back. And there is our worksheet. So we just need to save our PowerPoint. I'm gonna hit save. And we're gonna export it as a PDF. Keep the same name. Now let's open it up. There is our simple worksheet. And then all you need to do is print.
I hope you found this tutorial helpful in creating a simple multiplication printable for your students to practice understanding multiplication with equal groups and arrays. And that's it for day six. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.